A tough loss for the Ohio State Buckeyes on Saturday night in Eugene, Oregon. Just needed an, a couple more seconds, and, and Ohio State has a chance to kick a field goal and win that game. It was a great game. Uh, two evenly matched teams, in my opinion. And so where do you go from here if you're Ohio State? Uh, we're going to look at some pro uh, projections, some bowl projections, where this team is expected to finish. And I'll give you uh, my updated predictions for the rest of the season as well. All right, so Athlon has Ohio State finishing the season ranked number five. So they do not have them winning the Big Ten championship game. Uh, they've got them at number five. They would play Boise State. Boise State, Ohio State. Uh, that would be a fun matchup there. So if they were to win this game, then they would play number four, Kansas State, in the Fiesta Bowl. So Athlon has Kansas State winning the Big 12. Uh, Ohio State going uh, to uh, Arizona there to play in the Fiesta Bowl against Kansas State, assuming they get past Boise State. So not a tough path at all. And, and you know, you look at, at being a number five seed, that's really an ideal spot to be in the college football playoff if this thing goes the way I expect it to because you're going to get a group of five team and then you're going to get the worst of the two teams out of the Big 12 or the ACC or you could even flip that around. I, you know, it, we could even see like a Boise State finish number four and then you would actually play the ACC or, or not probably not the ACC but possibly the Big 12 champion uh, might even wind up as, as the 12 seed. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I think that uh, being number five would be would be nice for Ohio State. Of course, you'd love to get that first round by, but being number five again is a pretty good spot, and that's where Athlon has them. Let's go to now CBS Sports. So they've got Ohio State playing Georgia in the Rose Bowl. So they've got them getting a first round by uh, the number two seed overall, and then playing the winner of number seven Georgia and number ten Clemson. And again, we're assuming Georgia uh, would win that game. They'd be the higher-ranked team. So Georgia in the Rose Bowl, I, I don't know. Had you rather play Boise State and Kansas State, or would you rather have a bye and then play Georgia? You know, that's a tough question. You almost had rather be the five seed. But, of course, playing an extra game, you're going to – it's you know, injuries and things could happen. So I think getting a bye is always an advantage. But, um, yeah, that that's an interesting – uh, an interesting comparison there between the number five seed and then possibly the number one or two seed. Uh, so that's what CBS Sports has for Ohio State. Let's move on now to 24-7 uh, Sports. They've got them also in the Rose Bowl playing Georgia. So uh, same thing here, except they've got, well, the, the matchup's the same here, but they do have Georgia beating Notre Dame instead of Clemson. So that, a little bit of a different matchup there. So yeah, if Notre Dame were to pull the upset, you'd look at, playing Notre Dame instead of Georgia. Uh, but yeah, they've got them winning the Big Ten, finishing as the number two seed, playing Georgia in the Rose Bowl. So two of the four projections we're looking at here, uh, both putting Ohio State with a first round by and playing Georgia in the second round of the playoff. All right, so a final projection is Action Network. They've got Ohio State playing Army. So they have got them finishing number five, just like Athlon had. And playing Army, they're actually projecting Army to be the highest ranked group of five champion. Not sure if I'm buying that just yet. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, they, if they win that game, then they would play Iowa State in the Fiesta Bowl. So again, if Ohio State finishes number five, you're going to get a group of five team and you're probably going to get the Big 12 champion, which could be Kansas State, could be Iowa State, who knows, could even be BYU. Uh, but regardless, that's a very nice path. So uh, if Ohio State does somehow, you know, if they don't get to the Big Ten championship game, you know, maybe there's a three-way tie or something and they get left out, uh, that's not the end of the world, especially if they can finish number five. Um, so also you don't have to play in the Big Ten championship and that could be an advantage there as well. So in a way you do still get that by. So it's very interesting. Let's move on now to the FBI. They've got Ohio State's FBI number at 26.9. That means against the average team on a neutral field, they would win basically by 27 points. Uh, that's a pretty high number there. Uh, they have them ranked number two in the FPI. They have their final record 10.7 and 1.8, so that does include a conference championship game. So, you know, if they make the Big Ten championship, maybe 11 and two, maybe losing another regular season game or losing in uh, the Big Ten championship game potentially. 
So that's where they've got them uh, finishing with the final record. Uh, go, winning out, so winning the rest of their games, and that would include winning the Big Ten Championship game, a 37.1% chance. You know, they've got Penn State coming up. That's obviously going to be a tough matchup. And then, you know, if they play Oregon in a rematch, you know, they're going to have some tough games coming up. So I think that's a, probably a pretty fair percentage. 100% chance of getting to a bowl game. I think we'd all agree with that. Again, roughly a 50% chance of making the conference championship game. If they beat Penn State, they should be there. But again, uh, what if we get a Penn State, Ohio State, Oregon, Indiana? What if we get a four-way tie? All these teams lose one game. Uh, that could be interesting. If you're Ohio State, you really, you really want to to probably root for Oregon to win out, so you don't have to worry about a three-way tie. And then if Oregon wins out, Ohio State wins out, they should be there and get their and get their shot at revenge at the Ducks. So how about winning the Big Ten championship? A 37.8 percent chance of winning it. So if they get there, they do give them a good shot of winning it. But getting there again is going to be tough. An 80.1 percent chance. Of making the college football playoff, uh, that's I mean that's almost a guarantee. That is almost a guarantee, and, and I agree with that. Even if they lose to Penn State, they should be there. Uh, so a very high chance. And again, winning the Big Ten really is not everything when it comes to the playoff picture. Uh, we just, just talked about that. Making the national championship game at 29.3 percent chance. That's very high. And then winning it all a 17.6 percent chance. Also a, a very high number there as well. Texas is the number one team, by the way. And I think they have like a 30-something percent chance of winning the national championship. So they are the favorites, according to the FBI, but Ohio State right there at number two. So let's look at uh, my preseason prediction. So this is what I predicted for Ohio State in the preseason, going 11-1, and losing one game to Oregon on the road, and that's where we're at right now. So this team is uh, sitting there at 5-1 and one with one of the loss coming to Oregon. So, so far, so good. You look at the rest of the season, Nebraska is going to be a pretty tough game. Penn State on the road going to be very tough. Uh, Purdue Northwestern should be easy wins. I know Indiana's playing good football, but when you look at these teams and how they match up just at a talent level, I don't think Ohio State has a real shot at losing that game, especially playing at home. And Michigan has really no offense. So it really it comes down to that Penn State game. And that's going to be tough. I mean, it's on the road. That's a tough place to play. I know Penn State has had their struggles beating Ohio State, but this could be the year that they get it done. And if you lose that game, again, this team finishes 10-2. and two. They're still in the playoffs, so it's not the end of the world. But if they go 10-2, and two, they might not get that 5 or 6 spot, which is really where you want to be if you don't get a bye. And you do not want to be eight or not, 7 or 8 or 9 or 10. That, that is a rough spot because if you win your first round game, which is going to be a tough game, then you've got to play the number 1 or the number 2 seed. So, yeah, finishing 11-1, and I think, is going to be big for Ohio State. They really need to do that. Again, it comes down to that Penn State game. Right now, I'm not going to change my prediction. I'm going to say they beat Penn State on the road, sticking with my preseason prediction. I think it'll be a tough one, but I think the Buckeyes just a little bit better on both sides of the ball, and they they are able to overcome the, the crowd, the tough environment, and they get the win. And uh, I've had Ohio State winning the national championship since the preseason uh, as of now, that's still my pick. I think they get revenge on Oregon in the Big Ten Championship, and they wind up winning out uh, the rest of their games and, again, winning a national championship. That's my prediction. And, again, we showed you some of the other projections. would love to get your thoughts on the Buckeyes. Let me know what you think down in the comments below.